I just like the sound of it. Got a nigga, ayy, I come from the bottom, ayy. Humble nigga, ayy, I go through a lot of problems, ayy. Y'all tuned in live to Street Hustlers TV. We got the homie Geechee Baby in the building. Geechee, what's up, man? Man, it's Geechee Kimosaba, man. I'm fucking with Street Hustlers, man. You know what I'm saying? Kicking shit like karate. Wax on, wax on, Mr. Miyagi. Fuck with the kid. You already know, duh. <laughs> Alright, so um, tell us a little bit about where you from, Geechee. Shit, I'm from, uh, I'm, work, I'm raised in Palm Beach, Florida. A late work nigga, you know what I'm saying? Northside, 10th Ave. Fuck with Southside niggas, you already know what it is. Late work, nigga. Late work, stand up, you already know. A lot of ups and downs, you know. Uh, coming up, uh, you know, it's kind of kind of struggle, but you know, you got to get it on, you got to get it on your own. So, I mean, you know, you got your, you got your street niggas, you got your hood niggas, you got your people that work hard and everything. So, uh, coming up late work, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a bittersweet situation. So, you know, that's what it is, basically. Any crazy uh, memories that you have from growing up in Lake Worth, like anything that? Too many stands things. Out in particular, like any one story that stands out in particular. Uh, every story, to be honest with you, losing your niggas, man. When you watch losing your niggas and you losing your fam or you losing your people close to you, it's man, that's something I, I really try to handle. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of putting homies on the shirt. So it's a lot of deaths, a lot of shit that's going on. So I can't really speak upon it, but you know. Tell us how you got the name Geek. Geechee, uh, what's up, brother? Uh, what's up, brother? Um, Geechee, you know what I'm saying? I got that from my dog uh, from Maryland, Khalil. You know what I'm saying? He used to call me Jet2 Geechee, so uh, I ran out with that name, Facebook. Like, my first name was Goof, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, they used to call me Goof, so now they call me, you know what I'm saying? I used to call myself Two Strap. And I changed my name to Geechee because he called me Geechee and I moved to Tallahassee for three years. I was over there for three years going to school and shit. So, little fun fact for y'all. So, um, <laughs> uh, nigga gave me the name, you know what I'm saying? And I just ran with it. The Kimosabi just came from looking up another unique name. So, it means stupid or crazy. So, when you say Geechee Kimosabi, Geechee stupid or crazy. So, you know, do a little thing. Whew, job shit. Did you start rapping when you were in Tallahassee or? Um, I started, I started rapping, I grew up with this, you know what I'm saying, so, like, I grew up with this, so, I've I, I been, I've been rapping, from before when I started rapping, I used to just make shit in my head, and make the flows in my head, where I'd be like, da -ba -da -da -ba -da -da -ba -da -da and i put the words in, write out the words in with the flow, and that's how I started rapping, and I started freestyling more, trying to get into writing, but, I started, I started rapping basically around like, 12, 12, 13, took this serious, about it. And tell us a little bit about your native background. I'm Haitian, man. So boy, I send Levi, you know. Um, you Were know. you born here, or? I was born here, man. You know, my peoples were born from um, Haiti. My mom from Gornaive, my dad from St. Mark's. I've been to Haiti before, so I know places that don't cook was wash. You know what I'm saying? I go to the mountains and all that. I shit, I go to you know what I'm saying, Glocos by the mountains. You know what I'm saying? So I know a little thing. So. And if, for someone who's never been to Haiti before, um, tell them something like one of, the, one of the biggest misconceptions about Haiti, because a lot of people don't really understand it. They don't really see everything on TV. They don't show everything on TV. So what are the goods and bads of Haiti? Uh, you got the goods and bads. You know what I'm saying? You got the, you, basically, the, the bad thing about Haiti is just not structured. You know what I'm saying? Um, the, the, the government, how we got it down here is not the same way they got it down here. Everybody's almost for themselves. And if I'm power enough, if I'm powerful enough to make my own government, I can do that. And I can really step down on niggas next. And that's the problem we have. And the good thing, to be honest with you, um, man, we got a lot of resources that y'all don't got. So I mean, that's a lot of things y'all should know. And um, that's a, that's all I can really say. You know what I'm saying? And and it's a good, it's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? The food good. People, people are really humble. You know what I'm saying? They show you love. 
you know, certain places, you know, you might go through. You know, it's the same thing as America. You got ghettos, you got projects, you got you got dirty places, you got the rich people places, you got the rich people places, they stay right, right there by the dirty people. Like, you know what I'm saying? The real real deal. You know what I'm saying? The real deal. The real deal dirty dirty. Like it should get gutter. So it's just it's just it's just what it is. So you know. Your music is um uh, is to me, I, I mean, I went through your SoundCloud. You know, usually when I interview an artist, I always go through the SoundCloud and go through the different platforms to listen to their music. And right. your music is like, it's very, very versatile and different. Right. Um, tell us a little bit about your musical influence growing up. Uh, my, music, my musical influence growing up was uh, Haitian music, to be honest. I used to listen to a lot of King Posse. I don't know about that. Black Alex, Mr. Peace to Black Alex. Uh, and my dad used to actually put me on Snoop Dogg, so I used to listen to Snoop. So your and dad actually put you on the rap music? Yeah, my dad, he used to, and that's my dad, he think I'm playing, he's from Haiti, so that nigga was strict on my ass, you know what I'm saying? But he, you know, when he wind down and drink, and he, he listen to rap music, he will be listening to Snoop Dogg when Jenny Juice was out. So that's what put me on, and I just started listening to my own shit, like DMX, Hot Boys, you know, uh, Basically, Lil Wayne, you know, the biggest influence I got right now is basically the whole Pee Wee Longway thing coming out, Young Thug, you know what I'm saying? So, all that shit is versatile to what I need to know, what I need to style on, you know? So, you know, it ain't, it ain't nothing biggie. It's just simple, simple shit. If you could work with anybody right now in the industry, who would you work with? Oh, that's hard. That's real hard. Uh, Gucci Man first. Gucci Man off rip? Yeah, Gucci Man. I, 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 that, that's ba basically him. That's the nigga that gave me that that push. It's, it's, it's Gucci, to be honest. I say Gucci, but it's Gucci, baby. You know? But it's Gucci, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to 1017. That's my birthday, by the way. So, uh, so you know, this shit run deep. <laughs> What's your hottest song out right now? Lace Them Up. There's a couple, but Lace Them Up. Is that the one you just recently dropped the video for? Yeah, Lace Them Up. Um, I got the bottom on the way. Bobbing and Weaving with J. Dola. Shout out to J. Dola. Um, and I got one with John Wicks, you know what I'm saying? Poppy Doo. So. How did you get to link up with those uh, boys from Brown? What do you mean, like uh, J. Dola? Or? J. Dola. Uh, J. Dola. Uh, uh, brother. Uh, J. Dola was a. Uh, not, everything was a bit, been a genuine vibe. There ain't no, hey, hey, I, I need to make a song with you. Let's hurry up. Nah, it was a genuine vibe. It was like, you know what I'm saying? Yo. You know, I put money in your pocket. I'll make a song with you. I fuck with you, Zo. You know, I'm with Zo, so. But John Wicks is more genuine because it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas, niggas on some brotherly love. It's humble. Like, you never think that that's, you know, call that brother, you know what I'm saying? And all that. But I, I look way past that. I, I've been I've been listening to John Wicks, so. He's a bit, he's kind of influenced too on in my, in my rapping skills. You know, so. What current kind of projects do you have out right now? Uh, current projects right now, uh, I got Candles and Roses right now on every platform. Candles and Roses, Gichi Kimo Sabi. Uh, I'm working on more singles, but you know, I just nigga just been working, you know what I'm saying? So, just been dropping a lot of, I've been dropping a lot of songs, and I keep them in my vault for a reason, because I don't want to drop something and I just, you know, for no reason, or nobody's not going to like it. So I like to test the fields out a little bit to see if people fucking with it. So, so I got a lot of shit just coming, so just, just wait. I'm going to come, I'm going to come and uppercut y'all in the chin. <laughs> If you had a choice, as far as like your favorite producer, if you had to narrow it down to one, who would be your favorite producer right now? Southside. And where's she from? Southside, Southside, Timothy yeah, they're from Atlanta, Georgia. Southside, uh, you know, 808 Mafia, you know, 1080, 10, 10, I got a couple, 1088, uh, TM88, uh, Southside, Metro, Pierre Bourne, that's the only four, and London, that's it. And probably murder, murder, murder on the beast. That's it. I swear that's it. <laughs> Fuck with me. <laughs> How do you handle people hating on you? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, yo. That's it. Um, it's it's kind of crazy, you know. What I'm saying I was nothing. Niggas, niggas start looking at likes and shit like it's valuable to me. Like that shit ain't valuable, nigga. I'm losing niggas every day for me. So, the fuck is a like? Is that putting money in my pocket to be worried about all this shit? I don't give a fuck about all that, because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, my, what the shit I do is so old to y'all, 
but it's so new to y'all because now I'm putting in work. But before that, nobody was, it, it was nobody running behind me, you know what I'm saying? That's real shit. So what the fuck is hate? I don't know where that shit come from. I just been doing me for the longest. Now I'm getting a structured point of view and people just want to break that shit down. You know, you know, so I just deal with it just to be, you know, let them, let them do. If they're going to kill me, they're going to kill me. That's the only thing I can worry about. I got a lot of shit in my head. But that's so lame to me. So if you hate on me, you just lame. I ain't, I won't, I won't be, you don't see me iced out, you know, pocket full of money. I'm just a regular nigga just like you. What the fuck you hating for? I'm just trying to get out of here. <laughs> Um, describe the feeling at your first show. Uh, my first stage, show. A lot of people in front of you. Did you get nervous or? No, nah, I never. Uh, I've been performing. I never got either nervous. You know what I'm saying? Get it twisted, you feel me? I, I've been performing. You know what I'm saying? So, um, performing to me is just all about. It's all about presence. You know what I'm saying? You give them a present to vibe to. Once you give them a present to vibe to. Good. So I my my first my first performance actually in uh when I started doing this shit was actually in Club Euro. Shout out to Spode. You know what I'm saying? And, um, she had a little team thing going on. And there was a lot of kids, man, and I, I could see the movement. I could make a lot of movement from them. So we I, man, you know, I got that shit in the bag, man. I'm finna turn I'm finna turn up. Fuck it. You wanna be in my section, be in my section. It's vibe. It's all it's all good vibes, man. We ain't on that fuck shit, man. Like, yeah, everybody on good vibes, bro. Everybody on staying humble vibe, good vibes. So, my performance gonna be straight humble. Like, nigga, let's go. Let's turn up. Drinks. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Turn up. We all kicking in. If you could travel anywhere in the world right now, where would be the first place that you go? Japan, Tokyo, get all the babes. <laughs> I'm going to Japan, and I fuck with Japan. I'm going to Japan. I'm going to talk all that Hirari, Sekai, all that shit. You got me fucked up. Any particular reason why you chose Japan? Japan, Japan got that. Japan, Japan, to be honest, man, I'm a, I'm a black nigga, but I watch all the animes from China. Man, I fuck with Japan. I fuck with Japan. Everything, I, I love that shit. I love, like, like nigga named Cole from, from Japan, I think. Um, Niggas, niggas, niggas be uh, doing that little dabbing shit. Them boys speaking straight Japanese, nigga, rapping. Hirori Sekai, Kuku no Semai, and Staka no Mushi no Denai, Nuku no Senai, some shit like that. So you watch Naruto? Oh, uh, nah, I'm more of a Dragon Ball Z fan. I watch Dragon that Ball other Naruto shit. Yeah, I'm more uh, of a Dragon Ball Z. 54321, favorite episode, go. Favorite episode? When that nigga, uh, when Majin Buu came around. Okay. <laughs> That's it. That's all you need to know. Kid Buu. Oh. Uh, uh. I ain't even gonna pretend I know. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you prefer weed or alcohol? Oh shit, alcohol day. I'm just smoking weed right now just to get by. <laughs> Are yeah. you afraid of heights? Hell yeah. What? So hiking is not in your. Hike, I'll go hiking, but I better not be on the edge of the mountain where I can't pick myself up. <laughs> Shit, what the fuck? But if we be on the bridge and it's, uh, nah. <laughs> uh. Have you ever had a threesome? I wish. <laughs> Next. <laughs> we need to make that happen, man. We got to set something up. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> nah, we good, though. Straight funny shit. <laughs> What's your favorite place to eat? Uh, Favorite place to eat, damn. See, I'm a hood nigga, dog. I go to the block. I don't even eat, yeah. I'm a dog drinking, so I don't even eat. We don't eat, man. We got you making moves, so. I mean, my favorite place to eat, shit. It be, it be the niggas who I trust to be, to be, to be getting food, like, to be honest with you, so. Shit, they know, they know they taste good, good right? Shit, they, we gonna eat, fuck it. My mama though, too. That's it. I'm a hood nigga, so I don't know. I don't, I don't go to restaurants. I just started going to other shit. Like, what the shit I went to? Uh, fucking, I never been to Red Lobster. I've been to Red Lobster like one time. What the fuck? So you don't, shit. you don't really care for American food? Uh, oh, damn. Don't even try to get me like that, man. I like American food. I like soul food. But I'm more of a chicken guy. Chicken and burgers and shit. shit. I don't know chips from the corner store and shit. <laughs> no, we good, though. What are some of your goals for 2018 2018 man 
Be honest with you, bro. I'm trying to kick down the doors, man. Are I'm you trying talking to, to any labels right now? Uh, nah, to be honest with you, that's the crazy thing. I'm not, uh, I guess they ain't, they ain't find me yet, but I'm not, I don't really, I'm not looking for them to find me, but at the end of the day, yeah, but it's a, it's, it's a thing. I'm a Libra, bro, so everything is on the, on the, on the scale, bro. It's, it's whatever they on, it's whatever I'm on, bro. I'm gonna keep doing me until I get found or something. I'm just gonna keep doing me. But my goals for 2018 just kick down the doors, bro. Call this shit down a strong arm. That's it. Fuck it. That's all I can think, bro. Put my hood on the map. Be a pioneer. You hate on that if you want to, I guess. All right, Gucci, man. We appreciate you coming out with us, man. And, for sure. And talking yeah. to us and taking some time out of your day, man. Go ahead and let the people know where they can find you at, man. Sure, you can find me on Instagram. It's Geechee Baby. I-T-S-G-E-E-T-C-H-I-E-B-A-B-Y. It's Geechee Baby. Find me on SoundCloud, Geechee Kimo Sabi. And you know what I'm saying? Just type me in. Geechee Kimo Sabi. K-E-M-O-S-A-B-E. Candles and Roses out. Lace them up. Bottom about to drop. I already know. Lake Worth in the building, baby. North side, south side. Huh. Okay. Shout out to Street Hustle TV, man. You know what I'm saying? New school shit coming soon. Get your Kimosabi in the building. Whole Lake Worth in the building. 400 shit. Rest of P. Hatton. You already know what it is. <laughs>